Today, Apple unveiled the new iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, a new payment process called Apple Pay, and as many of us were hoping for, a brand new watch. We've got the details. After an inspiring opening video, Tim Cook stepped onto stage to lots of applause and reminded the audience that at this very location, the Flint Center in Cupertino, is where Steve Jobs first unveiled the Macintosh and then the iMac, being sure to note that this day is an important day in Apple's history. First, I need to break down a few details surrounding the new frontier that Apple is taking on, the Apple Watch. Please note, it's the Apple logo, then the word watch. This is already being called the most accurate timekeeping device out there, as Cook noted that it's accurate to plus or minus 50 milliseconds. So it looks pretty luxurious, yet uber techy and completely customizable, featuring a crown on the side of the face, six different straps and several face designs to choose from, as well as three distinct collections, including sport and an 18 karat gold one, and two offered face sizes. It's stainless steel with a sapphire coated display, all of the traditional watch features, but then bam, you flip it over and there are several sensors on the device that allows it to be your comprehensive health and fitness companion. We're talking that the four lenses and photo sensors can detect your heartbeat, sense touch and force, know when you raise your arm to look at it and the screen activates. It can actually measure the difference between a tap and a press, wow. And it's that crown on the side of the Apple Watch that allows you to zoom in and zoom out on the retina screen, shuffle through a list, return to the home screen, among other functions. You're able to navigate your normal apps from checking the weather, location, calendar, music, solar system, to checking NASDAQ, drawing doodles, setting fitness goals, sending emojis to friends, dictating thoughts, use Siri, and even more. You can send some of your iPhone notifications through the watch if wanted. It is just freaking cool and oh so pretty. And in case you're wondering, the Apple Watch requires an iPhone. It will be available in early 2015 and it starts at $349. Speaking of which, Apple also showed us the new iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display and the new iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. So the displays are bigger and the phones are thinner than ever. Plus, get excited, it's 50% more energy efficient than its predecessor, 84 times faster on graphics and 50 times faster CPU than the original iPhone. The visual quality, we're talking 1 million and 2 million pixels on each device respectively. So the visual quality is better with higher contrast and the view angles are broader. The design features noticeably rounded edges with a glass front that curves around to the side to seamlessly meet the aluminum back. There's more usage while the phone is turned horizontally, the power button is on the right side and there's an extended camera lens. But before we delve into the camera features, a few more details. The 6 and 6 Plus will come with iOS 8, which will launch on September 17th, and the phones will be available in the US and 8 countries starting September 19th. But you can pre-order a week in advance. Apple says that the gold, silver, and space gray models will be in 115 country by the end of the year. And now, these smartphones can measure elevation changes like climbing the stairs or hiking, and I love that the expanded keyboard will now have dedicated keys for cut, copy, and paste. Yay! Okay, so now for some camera and video details. Basically, it's just better. We're getting better face, smile, and blink detection, faster autofocus, better macro photos, panorama mode is up to 43 megapixels now, and a new gyroscope makes stitching even better. We've got front-facing FaceTime HD, True Tone Flash, a new sensor, a 2.2 aperture that allows in 81% more light, there's a burst selfie mode! The lens moves in and out and can tell if an object is in or out of focus. Focus. We're also getting single shot HDR photos and HDR in videos as well. Plus there's noise reduction in this round. Video is shot at 1080p at 30 FPS and 60 FPS and slow-mo at 240 FPS up from 120 FPS on the 5S. The cameras for the two new smartphones are nearly identical we hear, but optical image stabilization is coming to the iPhone 6 Plus only. And here's a look at the prices associated with buying the more environmentally friendly, aka beryllium free, new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. 
And finally, Apple Pay is official. Followers of the brand thought this would be announced and it's essentially a new payment process that's super simple to use. It only requires that you hold your thumb on the Touch ID button so identity is verified via your fingerprint. Tim Cook talked about how security and privacy is at the core of Apple Pay, describing the secure element chip that stores and encrypts all payment info securely that you can then reference in Passbook. If your iPhone is stolen or lost, find my iPhone can suspend all of its payments and you don't need to cancel the credit card because the number is never actually stored on the device. This is available in the US starting next month with Amex, MasterCard and Visa and 22,000 major merchants are already on board. It's worthy to note that Apple says it will not track what you bought, where you bought it or how much you paid when purchasing at a physical store location, adding that the cashier will not see your name, your credit card number or your security code. There were lots of exciting announcements from Apple today, but what are you most anticipating seeing firsthand? Are you a huge fan of the sexy new Apple Watch? I call the 18 karat gold one. Or do you absolutely need to get your hands on the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus and one of the new silicone cases in six colors or leather cases in five colors? Gotta add that in there. And are you stoked that you no longer have to carry around all of your credit cards anymore? Get in on the discussion below and thanks so much for sticking with us here at Clever. I'm Dana Ward. Don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. We'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.